as these signs say, Trayvon Martin could have been my son a few years ago. My son used to think that Snapple tea and Skittles was food. And I, it just hurts me to my heart that this child is dead. He actually died on my birthday, February the 26th. So I felt compelled to be here and I have had this hoodie on every single day until Zimmerman goes to jail. My check! My check! My check! Revolution! Revolution! Is not a passive! It's not a passive! Exercise! Exercise! That's why! That's why! I like my check! I like my check! We are not! We are not! Merely! Merely! Upset! Upset! We've been upset! We've been, We've been upset. upset! We are not! We are not merely, merely. Angry. angry. We are always angry. We are always angry. We are, we are outraged. Outraged. We are, we are outraged. Outraged. We are, we are outraged. Outraged. And if, and if there is no justice, there is no justice for Trayvon. For Trayvon. Because, because Trayvon is all. Trayvon is all of us. Of us. There will be. There will be. There will be. There will be. No peace. No peace. If there's no justice. If there's no justice. If there is no justice. If there is no justice. There, no justice there will be no peace. There will be no peace. Why? Why? Isn't Zimmerman? Isn't Zimmerman in jail? In jail. Why? Why? Isn't Zimmerman? Isn't Zimmerman in jail? In jail. Why in the hell? Why in the hell? Zimmerman. It's a Zimmerman. In jail. In jail. No justice. No justice. No peace. No peace. No justice. No justice. No peace. No peace. We we are gonna march. Are gonna march in just a few minutes. In just a few minutes. We we are gonna march. Are gonna march in just a few minutes. In just a few minutes. And we are going to and, tell. And we are going to tell all of New York. All of New York. That if, that if, there's no justice, there's no justice, if there's no justice, if there's no justice, for Trayvon, for Trayvon, then there ain't gonna be no, no goddamn peace. Goddamn peace. cops coming in and out of my house, out of my apartment, try, trying to look for somebody to arrest, trying to find quotas for their precincts to try to arrest young, innocent, black and brown people. And we have to say no. And I think that this is great that Trayvon Martin's case has gotten into the media because so many young black people have been put in the dark, such as Sean Bell and Ramarley Graham and so many others. I think about, you know, so many of the young black men and women that have been brutalized and oppressed in my communities and have been shunned out in the dark. And if it wasn't for this case, I don't know how we would be fighting back for the system. And I think this was just the catalyst for, you know, awakening the youth of color and all people across the world to say, you know, but, you know, Trayvon is our son. He's our brother. He's our friend. We know a Trayvon Martin around here who's wearing a hoodie, who's black, who's being victimized and who probably has been killed. You know, and we gotta say fight back, say no to racism, and say no to racial profiling and police brutality. Say no to crazy ass vigilantes like George Zimmerman, who still walk in the streets. And we gotta say no to ultimately this whole damn system. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I wanna say something to Zimmerman. I'm not for the death penalty, frankly, because as long as the death penalty is being carried out by the system that defends the rich and oppresses the poor, I don't want them to do anything. I would rather send Zimmerman to Venezuela or to Cuba where he can really learn what it's like to be a Latino, where he can re really learn about true people's justice. And I want to say, 
that, the, right. that this racist system has made up this word Hispanic. There is no such thing as Hispanics. It is a word that is made up to make me enti entice some of us to cross the line, to cross the line, to fight for a system that wants to bring us down. And I say that Latinos have come out, have to come out in record numbers and say we stand with the black community now and every day. That it doesn't matter if we're light skinned, it doesn't matter if we're light skinned Latinos. And it's true that some of us light skinned Latinos have more privilege than others but that we say no to any of this. We say no to dividing us along color lines and along everything. <coughs> so we're gonna march today, and I'm gonna march as a proud Latina to say I am Trayvon Martin. Yo soy Trayvon. No justice! No peace! No race police! No justice! No peace! No racist police! But we're here to call for justice for Rakia Boyd, for Kendrick McDade, for the three black men who were shot down in Tulsa, who were killed, and the five that were shot in Tulsa. For the two undocumented immigrants who were shot in Arizona just yesterday. And for all the stolen lives of poor and oppressed people, black, Latino, Asian, Arab, and indigenous in this country, because we have suffered the worst indignities since this country was born on our backs. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. We can agree with that, right? I yeah. agree. And the murder of this brother is connected to the whole history of racism in this country, right? Right. Yeah. So the only way to put an end to racism in this country and sexism and homophobia is to build something better, right? Right. Yeah. Something that enforces solidarity with people no matter what race they are, no matter what gender or how they express their gender, right? Yeah. Right. We need a better society, plain and simple, right? Yeah. We can all agree, right? Yeah. And so that's why we're here. Yeah. And we intend to go forward. Yeah. We intend to struggle, don't we? Yeah. We intend to continue fighting, right? Yeah. From this day forward, let us go to our communities our apartment buildings, wherever we are, our schools and our work, and tell people, yesterday, I was at the march in the, the rally for Trayvon Martin. Why weren't you there? Yeah. Yeah. And tell them that we have to continue fighting because it's in the interest of their children and your children and their next door neighbors and their co-workers. Right. Right. As long as a system that uses racism and any differences and exploits those continue to exist, we can never have peace on this planet. Well, the youth are refusing to listen to the police. There's been numerous occasions in which they've taken the street, saying that they're not going to let this pass. You know, it's uh, it's long time, long past time for people to just stand in the streets and passively march. People are angry. I mean, we know that the only way we're going to get justice for Trayvon Martin is if there's some real hell created here, if, and and if the system shakes and if the ground shakes, there might be some justice. That's the only chance we've got, and so that's what we're doing. Kicking. Mike check. Mike check. We're having a moment of silence in the middle of the street for Trayvon Martin. Let's wait. Let them direct traffic. Schools going on for the kids right now, but that's not a beneficial. We need jobs. We all need yeah. some jobs because we don't have jobs. We, 
Who's looking? Who's killing us? It's bringing us down slow. Trayvon! 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 Hey, you like the new one? You think we're almost to the end of this? I, I think the end of this is when George Zimmerman is finally brought to justice for murdering an innocent young man. That's what I think the end of this is, so we're definitely nowhere near the end of this. Until he's in handcuffs and this racist system is torn apart. It's really sad. Capitalism is so dependent on racism to keep itself together. It's so dependent on racism that they can't convict a man who shot someone through the chest. That's the horror of the capitalist system, and that's why we're out here. That's why we've been marching for the last five hours, and we ain't going anywhere.